Greetings, and thank you for dropping by for the latest edition of Mentor Mike's Market Movie. Today is Friday, the 14th of September, 2012. Let's begin by taking a look at the charts from this week. Here is Monday. As you can see, we missed a with the trend short trade in the pre-market. And then I went ahead and took this transitional move. Um, there actually doesn't seem to be any basis for it except that I just had a real strong feeling that the market was going to go up because our stochastic was very deeply oversold. So made some money there. Um, then it looked like we had another transitional move here and uh, caught a little bit there enough to hit the first target. And then um, I got long here. This was obviously a uh, a with the trend move, the red was sloping up, the white was above the red, but I was lucky to barely hit the first target. So uh, made a little bit of money here, but not really setting the world on fire. Um, this was, a, I, tra I treated this as another with the trend trade because uh, of the bullish parabolic here. Um, and uh, that was a little better. Then the best trades of the day were the short ones right here but I had some other things to do so missed out there but we had a low high um, and that should have been a low obviously uh, low high low uh, configuration for this day let's see what Tuesday looked like a little more going on here um, first trade of the day happened after the start of the day session um, and uh, as you can see we uh, uh, we had a low actually from the previous day and uh, uh, so as soon as the market opened, we had our the stochastics deeply oversold. So went long, uh, got stopped out here when the parabolic flipped, went long again. All of this is pretty much with the trend. Uh, had some divergence here between the price and the stochastic, which justified our transitional move. This then looked like it was a continuation of a with the trend move. And uh, it was just barely enough to hit the first target and then stop us out. Then it turned around and did the same thing again, and I went short based on that. And as you can see, I had quite a substantial wait before we finally got in the money. But uh, I kind of figured out what was going on when I saw the uh, stochastics. You can see it zigging and zagging up and down. Basically, this is probably... A truncated wave five, but this is one of those rare times where wave five is actually a kind of a, a pennant or a triangle. So I figured that whenever this peak uh, topped out, the market would sell off again. Uh, plus, I could see that it looked like we were kind of peaking with the red moving average. So it wasn't as much of a stretch to kind of stay in this short trade as it might look. Got a little hairy here where the market uh, started to move up. But I, uh, I hung in there, and it paid off eventually. And then I caught one more uh, right at the end. So we had a, uh, a low, high, low here. And here's Wednesday. Real choppy day. Ended up having uh, um, four turning points. And I pretty much traded off the stochastic this day. And this is the one we're going to replay today because I think there's more going on here. Uh, Thursday was the very unidirectional day. Uh, the, the big bullish rally, of course, was due to uh, Bernanke's uh, announcement that the Fed was going to be buying bonds uh, as an effort to uh, spur economic growth. Uh, high, low, high was our, our setup today. And then probably the most normal day of the whole week, uh, but for the skewing of our, of our delta points, was this one here. This is today. Missed this with the trend short here, uh, caught the second one, then uh, basically went with the uh, stochastics after that, missed the uh, these beautiful shorts here, but caught the last little uh, uh, bounce up at the end. Now, the delta chart for the week looks something like this. As you can see, it was pretty flat. Uh, here's Wednesday. Uh, which is the one we're going to be uh, dissecting today in a minute. Um, here's the big climb in, on Thursday, and uh, it continued to climb uh, into Friday, and then down we went. So it appears we ended on a high, and th thus should be looking for a 
uh, an initial low on Monday, but we'll see how all that comes out. So let's go ahead and get started. Notice that we're um, already kind of oversold here, but our longer term uh, moving averages are kind of sloping down. So let's see what we can see. We'll bring our little control panel out and start the data feed. This probably might have rallied enough to hit an initial target, but I didn't like the looks of it because of the downsloping red and the um, downsloping parabolic. I figured if this was, uh, this is probably all part of a, a corrective move, and if that's the case, it's going to uh, come all the way down to this uh, green moving average. Now, um, we have probably blown our chance here for a short trade. That's one of the problems with having the data feed crank up, cranked up to 50. Um, I actually got in right as this thing was crossing, and, and as you can see, we flipped it here. Um, there's still a chance we might hit the first target, so let's go ahead and give that a shot. Maybe a little too chatty sometimes for my own good. All right, we'll take it up to 30 and see what happens. Okay, hit the first target. Haven't moved the stop though, so I'm going to move it manually just in case this thing starts to climb. Okay, now, you're going to get a little preview of a coming attraction here. Uh, I'll be giving another uh, webinar next Thursday, right after the market closes, and it's going to be about how to make more aggressive entries, and one of the things that we use, of course, is our stochastic. So, notice that we may have a five-wave pattern here, one, two, three, four, five, Plus, we're sitting on a zone of support in the form of the trend-defining moving average. Uh, we've got uh, curvature up on the MACD, plus uh, we, we have bottomed out on the Donchian channel that's been applied to the MACD. And uh, we flipped the parabolic and coming off the Donchian channel on the stochastic. So rather than wait to be stopped out here, I'm going to reverse and we're going to Start in the other direction.
Well, we flipped the parabolic and still having trouble hitting that first target. We're hitting kind of low, but, and we've got a cross on the stochastic, but watch the MACD. Oops, dipping, but not staying. There we go. The upsloping, trend-defining moving average gave me a lot of confidence that this was probably uh, a correction. Plus, remember that uh, we have a little something called the S's and the, and the Z's. We talked about that in a recent webinar earlier in the year. All right. Now, I think we've got a potential short here based on the crossover on the stochastic and again my chattiness has caused the market to go a little deeper than I would have liked but uh, we're going to reverse again now notice that from this high down to here we had a little zigzag. We had two zigzags here. One, two, three, four, five. Now we've got one, two, three, and now we seem to be dropping. So let's not be surprised if we have uh, a zigzag here before it continues down, but let's see what happens if we start the data. Now, we haven't moved the stop, so I'm going to move it manually. And we're stopped out. And we're heading down again. So let's re enter on the short side. We've got stochastic, uh, excuse me, MACD about ready to go below zero. We've got a hook on the faster stochastic, and even our five minute stochastic, which is what this green line is, has a hook on it. So Okay, we flipped the long-term parabolic. And we've got a curvature here coming off the bottom. So I think it's reversal time again.
Okay, I'm going to slow it down a little. Okay, now remember S's and Z's. We had a one, two, three sort of configuration here. Here's another one. One, two, three. Now we've got one. Now we're kind of dropping into um, two. Um, and then is it going to take off to three? Probably. But let's see if this is going to be enough of a drop because technically we've got our red moving average underneath the the trend definer at least temporarily but we also have um, kind of an overbought stochastic that's just about ready to flip here so remember all it takes is enough of a drop to hit that first target to put us in the money And there it is. And let's slow it down again. And now we're turning the other way. Remember, S's and Z's. One, two, and that suggests it's going to go up here to the number 30 point. So, reverse once again. There we go. Okay, now, let's reverse. Now, this has already come down to a level of support, so there's a chance that we're going to do a one, two, uh, come over here, and, and then down another SZ kind of thing, so well, we'll find out. Oh, by the way, we'll bring our stop down a tick above this high. Everybody thinks that I just leave those stops hanging out there. That's not quite what happens.
Yep. Looks like we were pretty much at the number two point when we got short here. But hopefully it'll sell off. One, two, three, and, and down. Oh, stochastic's looking like it wants to go that way. Maybe if I draw the arrow a little stronger, it'll get the idea. That's more like it. Oops. Okay. Stopped out, but everything's still pretty well heading down. So let's see if we get another chance. Okay, the stochastic is has flipped its parabolic, but now it is turning back around. And it's flipped the big parabolic, so let's give it another shot on the short side. Hmm. Okay. Now, notice we've flipped this and we've headed pretty low here. Um, don't have much uh, bearishness going on on the MACD though, so let's slow it down a little bit and see if we can get a little closer to something. We want to see the MACD at least curving up just a tad. Well, I guess it had some more down move left in it. Well, plus we flipped the parabolic yet again. Well, it's a good thing we look for the MACD. All right, now, we've got the long-term stoke from the five-minute chart curving up. So is the faster one. We flipped that parabolic again, and now we've got the MACD coming off the bottom of its Donchian channel. So it is reversal time once again. And that's the last trade of the day, so I'll just run out the clock here and
And there you have it. So 34, 62, 50 with nine contracts. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine trades. So come back and see us again next week. Bye for now.